This quick Christmas craft, since trees have been kind of the theme of this week, we're going to do a Christmas tree ornament. We're also going to do a candy cane ornament, and we're going to be using wine corks. This is a fun project. I would recommend get some buttons, some ribbon, or baker's twine. Uh, you will need your case cutting razor knife. You will also need your hot glue gun. And be extremely careful with razor knife or if you have a very sharp knife. You'll also need some kind of cutting board or sheet that you can get a firm surface. So you want to be able to lay your wine cork flat. To make the tree, we need six pieces of our wine cork. We're going to be cutting these. I've already cut this one and I made this one really wide because that's going to be my trunk that my tree is going to be built on. I'm going to have two small ones right here, so I need four additional. Now one wine cork can get you those extra pieces, and you can just kind of in your mind see how to divide it and how wide you need these pieces. They don't need to be very large at all. These are just discs, and you can literally cut the wine cork. Just be extremely careful and make sure that you have a cutting surface to put that on. We want this beautiful, smooth cork side. You can use the white side if you want to, or you can turn them vice versa. So you want at least four more pieces, so you'll have a total of six for the tree. You'll need eight pieces to make the candy cane. So we have our seven right here that's for our tree, and then we're going to cut these making this one cork four pieces, this one cork four pieces for a total of eight pieces for the candy cane. Using my paint markers, which you will find a link in the description box down below, I'm going to like paint just a few of my different colors for the tree. Okay, now we're going to glue these together. And I always do one to the other, that way you can turn it if you need to in order to get them all equally fitted. And you want to make sure that when you place them together, that they are level. Like these are a little bit thicker, so you want to make sure that they are level with each other. Okay, I'm going to take a little piece of craft paper that I have crinkled up by just widening it up. And then stretch it out. And I'm making a very small rustic tag to go on my little tree. right here from Dollar Tree and basically I'm going to use that as its garland and just a little bit of glue just enough to hold it we're going to take our little bit of string there it's got our joy and our button on it we don't want to cut that just yet it's going to also be our hanger I have selected two buttons so I glued the little button on to the big button and glued it across the dangler there. And using that same string that the dangler's attached to, created the hanger. Voila, we have our little button, wine cork, Christmas tree. And we have our little dangler that says Joy on it with our button. You guys know how much I love plaid paints. This is the Folk Art Metallic and you cannot beat it. I also have the silver. This one's brand new. The bright red is a new. So this is what your bottle's going to look like now. Once again, that link is in my description box, but you can locate this at Walmart. And what we're going to do here is four of these will be painted the red, and then four of these will be painted the silver. Before you glue your candy cane, make sure you lay it out and adjust it so that when you begin gluing it, it comes together correctly and looks with the hook of a candy cane. Uh, this is one that you want to take slow. Even though it looks simple, the candy cane is one of the most complicated this ornaments to do simply because of its complexity and how it does its hook. So this turn right here is what's going to make that candy cane form correctly and bring about its uniqueness and you've got to get that 
just right. So make sure that you work it and adjust it before you start gluing it together and kind of get a feel for it. Now one thing on your candy cane is to glue you some ribbon on the back side because when this twists around on the tree, it will be seen. But not only that, it will secure your candy cane because as I said before, the candy cane, as you can see, it keeps wobbling. It is one of the most difficult ornaments to make. It looks easy because it's so simple, but it is one of the most delicate ornaments to make, uh, bar none. Uh, the candy cane is always the most complicated because of the gravity pull and the structure of that bend, that little hook that's so unique to a candy cane. So you're always better to put you some security there. Now, once I assembled my candy cane, I took that baker's twine and wrapped around it and glued it into the back. That gave it a little more definition as well. I then crinkled up some craft paper, wrote Merry Christmas on it, and created my tag. I used the same baker's twine to attach that tag and to also make the hanger for the candy cane. I made it a regular shoe tie bow, put angle cuts on it, and glued it to the candy cane. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me and YouTube know that you enjoyed the video and would like to see more of the like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Read the comments and suggestion boxes down below. Once you subscribe, you're part of my DIY team, and we help each other, encourage each other, and be creative. I hope you enjoyed making this Christmas tree and this candy cane ornament. So until the next DIY, I'll be crafting y'all. Make some Christmas ornaments. Merry Christmas.